It's your boy DJ Academics, and check this out, man, because I recently did a story about a former Oklahoma Sooners running back. And to keep it real, right now, he's a unemployed Negro. Now, his name is Brennan Clay, and really, he was a NFL hopeful. But we could kind of scratch the hopeful out of it. Reason being is that, realistically, the only way he'll end up back in the NFL is if he uses the create a player option in Madden, which doesn't really do anything. Now, Here's the thing, because we all felt sorry for him a while back because he brought this sob story saying, oh, oh, I was married to this chick for like three months and she cheated on me. And not only did she cheat on me, but she cheated on me with my arch nemesis, which happens to be DeMarco Murray. Now, if you don't know, DeMarco Murray, at least last year, was the best running back in the entire NFL. So everybody was like, oh, my God, these hoes definitely ain't loyal. Now, when more facts came out, he actually recanted that because he put out some text messages that was showing his uh, wife's uh, interaction with DeMarco Murray. He actually then recanted it. You know what he said? He said, oh, actually, it was a misunderstanding. We're actually good now. Now, we come to find out later on that, to be honest, they were going through a divorce. And if any interaction she was having with DeMarco Murray it was completely legit, she wasn't cheating at all because they're separated. Now, if you're separated and going through a divorce... If you want to go get donkey fucked by somebody else, completely fine. Now, apparently, when somebody's kind of down on their luck, they realize that, yo, they're not going to get in the NFL. They thought they were. And their arch nemesis, which happens to be DeMarco Murray, is fucking the, probably the love of their life, who probably just isn't interested in them for whatever reason anymore. Now, this guy not having a handle on his life or his professional career and also realizing his wife has filed for a divorce from him, actually culminated into something very negative. Then TMZ broke a story that said, actually a couple weeks ago, Brandon Clay actually beat her ass. Now, here's the thing, because this is what TMZ and the police report say. Basically, they're saying Brennan Clay went over to her crib, and, and granted, they're going through a divorce. And now, granted, any interaction she's had with other men has been during a divorce. He goes to her crib, he breaks down the goddamn door, start arguing with her, threw her around like a rag doll. He dragged her upstairs. He dragged her downstairs. He threw her outside like fucking Jazzy Jeff. He choked her out like Dylon choked out at Whitecliff. And basically, she had to run for her life. Now, basically, when the cops arrived, she had multiple bruises, abrasions, and also she was bleeding profusely and crying. Now, here's the thing. So, this guy, obviously, right? I'm talking about Brandon Clay. He obviously has lost the handle of his professional career. I mean, obviously, it doesn't look like he's going to make it to the NFL. To keep it real, he's at the point where he's at a crossroads. I mean, I think he's about like 22, 23, but realistically, he's not NFL talent. To keep it real, he might be better off trying the Arena Football League or try like a Canadian Football League. Either that or my nigga get some goddamn crack rocks. Start pushing weight. Now, obviously, and this is from reports and from people who, who know about the situation, they're saying that, hey, he used to blame all his goddamn failures on her and also was pissed off that she would even even um, talk to the person that he envied the most. Now, DeMarco Murray and Brennan Clay were college teammates at one point, so Brennan Clay kind of envied and wanted everything DeMarco Murray had, except DeMarco Murray, he's a very successful athlete. Now, here's the thing. Apparently, this was something that DeMarco Murray knew about, uh, the chick didn't know about, so it was really games between men. I've always said, when it comes to games between men, women should always stay the fuck out. Now, obviously, DeMarco Murray might have been thirsty, and he probably was trying to get at this chick, trying to donkey fuck her, or probably he did, and probably was However, he was doing it because you know what it is. Ether burns. Ether is going to burn. Now, for, the, for uh, Brennan Clay, an unemployed Negro walking around town probably thinking, hey, maybe DeMarco Murray got all the fame, all the success professionally, but at least I got everything I need personally. Now, when the chick kind of just tells you, hey, you know what, yo, you're a nigga that's just not going anywhere. I'm out of here. Okay, not only that, you are abusive. You are kind of at least too overbearing. I'm about to just fall back. And that's what it is, man. When somebody starts blaming, and this is to all females or all dudes, when somebody blames their lack of success in their career path on you in a personal relationship, that's when you know that that person is going to usually end up bad. Now, as I said, the fact that Brennan Clay made allegations that she fucked somebody else, took it back, then apologized for airing it out, then ends up beating her ass, we just can't believe anything that he's saying. This guy obviously seemed that he's scum. 
As I said, I have no times for a dude that would attack a woman in this manner that's unprovoked. Right? I mean, even if you walk in and she's really giving the full SPF 40 to fucking DeMarco Murray or spray tan. My nigga, you should still just walk away. Now she put hands on you, maybe you can restrain her, but this this kind of paints it out like you will really think you're in a street fight. Now, I don't know what the case is, but this kid is obviously, he needs to get his life together and probably just come to the, the, the realization, my dude, you're not going to make it to the NFL. The, your professional shortcomings is not the, the fault of DeMarco Murray, who obviously doesn't like you. It's not the fault of the chick you were with who could pretty much fuck who she wants. It's really the fault of you. You need to look at your career, look at your life, and make choices that are good for you. So you've gone to jail, and because of that, hey, you hopefully you're wising up, and hopefully they get a divorce because this shit doesn't look good at all. This doesn't look motherfucking good. And to keep it real, with this type of juvenile action, it's no wonder your chick is thinking about another dude that's more successful and the one that's not putting everything on Twitter. So think about that, okay? And what do you guys think? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys definitely subscribe to your boy DJ Academics. I'm out.